Hi, everyone. This is Mike Talks Cars podcast. Today, a major border blockade is gone. Lincoln gears up to electrify. And what does no really mean? In industry news, the Ambassador Bridge, linking Detroit, Michigan and Windsor, Ontario, is open for business. The five-day blockade that crippled parts and vehicle movement between Canada and the U.S. was removed by police action. Even though there were a few arrests, the police faced little resistance. While underlying cause has not been addressed and emotions are still very high, traffic over the bridge has resumed and the auto industry, for one, can begin to recover from the interruption in the supply chain. One thing this blockade has pointed out clearly is the fragility of that supply chain between Canada and the U.S., and the almost instant effect it has on jobs and vehicle production. In new vehicle news, Lincoln, Ford's Uptrim brand, has announced that it will launch a full slate of EVs by 2026. This announcement, according to Reuters News, is a stepping up of Lincoln's plans to mostly electrify the brand in North America. The report states that they will introduce at least five new battery-powered Lincoln SUVs by that time. The strategy is an important part of Ford's overall plan to electrify its fleet. The first EV Lincoln is likely a large crossover, about the size of a Lincoln Aviator, and is tentatively slated for production in late 2024 or early 2025. This vehicle will be built at Ford's Oakville, Ontario plant, which will undergo a $1.5 billion makeover to convert it from building internal combustion vehicles to battery electric vehicles. Now for some musings with the trainer. What does it really mean when a customer tells you no? Well, that is the million-dollar question when we're talking about sales, isn't it? For many sales consultants, no is a total rejection of what they're presenting. And for some, it's a word that they will do almost anything to avoid. I've worked with literally thousands of salespeople over my career, and I can tell you that it is a very common position taken by salespeople. I've seen salespeople be devastated by the word and quit the business because they hate the rejection they feel when people tell them no. I have a little different take on the word. If you can train yourself to hear what I hear, you may find the word a little easier to hear and discover that having a customer say no to you is just what you needed to move the deal towards completion. When I hear no, I don't hear N-O. I hear K-N-O-W, no. When a customer says no to me, it means that either there's something that they don't know yet, or it means that I don't know something I should have known before they told me no. I will always start by assuming it was something I missed and back up to the last point where I knew we were on the same page. Then I'll start asking the good questions to find out what I don't know. I can't tell you how many times I've been able to salvage a deal, either for myself or for one of my salespeople, by employing the K-N-O-W approach to a customer's N-O. After all, they didn't take the time from their busy schedules, driven all the way to your store, and spent time looking at vehicles with you just to say no and walk away. No, they didn't. You just need to K-N-O-W what's missing from the deal. This is Mike Little reminding you that, hey, selling is fun. Go have a great day.